Hello and welcome to this video which is about a simple potential divider problem. As you can see there are two resistors, a 1 kilo ohm and a 5 kilo ohm connected and um, X and Y are the two uh, connections coming from this potential divider. The one thing left to add is that the PD or the EMF of the battery is 6 volts in this case. So the first question says calculate the current to the ammeter. Well the current to the ammeter in this case because X and Y are not joined it's a simple series circuit. Um, I must therefore equal V over R. We know that the PD is 6 and the total resistance of R1 plus R2 is um, 1 kilo ohm or 1000 ohms plus 5000 ohms uh, which is obviously going to give us 6,000, leaving us with 6 divided by 6,000, or uh, 1 times 10 to the minus 3 um, amps. If X and Y are connected together, calculate the new current. Well, if X and Y are connected together, I'll do it with a dotted line here just so you can see, then the easiest path for the current to follow is through the new segment of the circuit, which means it will bypass R2 altogether. Therefore, the new current I is equal to V over R, but this time the V is still 6, but R is now just R1. So that becomes 1,000 because R2 plays no part in the proceedings. And that will obviously give us a higher current of 6 times 10 to the minus 3 because there is less resistance in the circuit. Next, we have to calculate the PD between X and Y. Now, this is assuming that we have lost out that join again, so I will rub it out so we can be clear what we're doing and what we're doing instead here is we are connecting a voltmeter between x and y and we want to know what the reading on that voltmeter is the easiest way to do this is to use the potential divider equation so we're going to say now that v2 where this uh, pd here is v2 and um, this pd here would be v1 if you're following V2 is equal to V0 times by R2 over R1 plus R2. V0, I should just point out then, is the total PD. So it's V1 plus V2. Or if I'm going to draw it on here, it will be equivalent to, to that. Just there, that will be V0. Plugging in the numbers then, V0 is the 6 volts, as you can see from the, from the diagram. Uh, R2 is 5,000. So it would be 6 times 5,000, and R1 plus R2, as we already know, is 6,000. There's my sum, resulting in an answer of 5 volts. And then finally, calculate the PD across R1. Well, we could use another variant of this equation here, where we had V1 instead of E2 there, and swapping things around, but the easiest way to do this is not to bother, and just to know, we know that V2 is now 5 volts, we know that we're supplied 6, so there must be 6 minus 5, equal 1 volt across R1. Well, I hope that was helpful in looking at a simple potential divider problem. Check back soon and subscribe for more helpful information on A-level physics. Thank you for watching. Bye.